Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Live, Learn, Travel. We're here with our initial Brazil Q&A episode where we're going to take questions and, uh, from our listeners, from you, the audience, uh, the questions that people submit either from our uh, email address of info at goLOT.me or if you post a question uh, or some subject that you'd like to know more about on any of our social media. So here we are tonight. We have a few topics we're going to discuss. Uh, we're going to discuss lodging and hotels. We're going to discuss crime in Brazil. And we're also going to talk about uh, animals. That third topic I think you guys will find very interesting. You'll understand more once we get into it. So to get started, we have hotels and lodging. So people want to know what, is hotel, what are hotels and lodging like? Of course, if you're coming from the U.S., people have an idea in their mind because we have chains of hotels, and in, the, in cities, most of our cities, you'll find, you know, several different hotels. So you're going to find Holiday Inn, Radisson, Hilton, Hyatt. Uh, all those chains are generally represented in uh, most of the cities. But one thing we can comment about here in Brazil, you don't find that to be the case so much. Um, for example, I'm in the state of Sao Paulo, and only in the city of Sao Paulo uh, will you find like a Hyatt Hotel. So if you come to Brazil, if you're looking for some of the major hotel chains, it can be a little more difficult. Uh, so again, that's why it's important to maybe get with people that live here already, um, maybe contact uh, us here at Live, Learn, Travel, um, because finding these hotels can be a little trickier. Uh, also, one other point before I pass it over to uh, Dave, I like to mention is that of posadas. We did a video uh, about posadas. They're kind of like bed and breakfast or uh, inns um, that you can find here in Brazil. So posadas, they're a very very popular place for people to stay. So where you may not find as many large chain hotels, you can find. Um, privately owned posadas here in Brazil. So now I'd like to ask Dave, Dave, what do you think about this topic of hotels and lodging here in Brazil? How you doing, Marvin? Well, I definitely agree with you when it comes to uh, hotels. Uh, hotels are abundant here in Brazil. But, um, as you mentioned, you know, finding some of the major chains uh, that perhaps we have in the United States and also in other countries that can be quite difficult to find, and actually the price difference—the price difference will be quite uh, different as well. Um, now, one of the things about hotels uh, it was interesting you mentioned also is finding someone or trying to contact someone here in Brazil that knows about hotels, because sometimes the things that are advertised uh, on hotels about hotels, whether it's the photos or you know different amenities or what have you. Sometimes when you arrive at the hotel, it's uh, slightly different from what was advertised. So that's something you have to be really careful on. Um, always go to perhaps sites that are very um, trustworthy, such as TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor, you can find different you know, hotels and different other types of accommodations here in Brazil. And you can actually see photos that are live and actually photos, not rather live, but photos that are actually uh, truthful because you know you have other visitors that have gone, have come to Brazil and they've actually taken photos and posted the photos. Uh, that way a person can kind of gain somewhat of an experience uh, via photos. So that's something definitely that one would uh, want to look into. Any type of uh, sites that are uh, out there to help, you know, help, all, help the viewers or help people that are looking for hotels. That's very important. Okay, very good. That's a good point there about the trip advisor. That way, it'll again uh, help cut down on some of the potential uh, drama there. Um, one other point about the hotels I want to make is that of um, the hotels. Some of them you find here in Brazil. I found it kind of uh, interesting 
when I first saw this, is that they'll have more than uh, two beds sometimes. Most times I'm used to seeing your um, two beds, maybe two queen size beds. I've actually seen rooms that had as, as many as five beds, um, probably twin size beds for larger families, things of that nature. So I saw those in some photos. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, let's do this. Let's go on to our next subject, that of crime in Brazil. Um, you know, a hotly um, debated topic. Crime in Brazil, you know, first thing I try to tell people is everywhere there's crime. And most intelligent thinking people already realize that. Most major cities, they have areas that are bad, that are going to have crime. Uh, also, as a traveler, again, there are certain things just to be aware of. Uh, don't carry your your uh, original documents with you as you're out and about. Don't carry all of your money. Don't carry all your money in one pocket. So be careful with those type of things. But we can say, does crime exist in Brazil? Yes, it does. Is crime a little worse in Brazil than maybe it is in other places? Well, again, people that live here, that have spent any time here, you know, can uh, definitely admit to the fact that the, uh, the presence of the police sometimes can be scarce. And what that leads to then is that there are those in your uh, population that are going to try to take advantage of others so the crime can be there. Um, I wouldn't say that a person needs to worry that just walking down the street they're going to be a victim of crime. But, again, watch yourself. If the area looks bad, it probably is. So then you need to just be a little more aware. So, uh, Dave, what about you? What do you think about crime here in Brazil? You know, crime, that's a topic that many, many uh, are definitely worried about when they come to Brazil because, unfortunately, the picture that's painted, Brazil, oh, it's a dangerous place. Always be careful. You know, I'm sure if you go out online, sometimes you see information on many websites and they talk about, you know, the crime and someone got uh, mugged or robbed at gunpoint or whatever and so forth. But, you know, crime, as you mentioned, too, uh, just to back you up, you know, crime happens in any and everywhere. Um, if there's a place that definitely looks more or less a little shaky, you want to make sure you definitely uh, be careful. Uh, always try to fit in as far as clothing, you know, uh, not wearing uh, clothes or jewelry that causes undue attention because that will definitely set you off and people will see you as a gringo. And we'll explain to what gringo means later on. <laughs> but you, you will be a gringo, and <laughs> gringo equates to money. Oh, if he's a gringo, he's here, they've got money. <laughs> we'll see what they have. Um, also, you want to make sure you, you're careful in regards to, you know, your uh, cell phone, your smartphone, for example, you know, uh, not being too flashy with it. Um, maybe in specific areas, maybe perhaps you might want to carry a smaller, simple phone. If you have one, maybe take that out at nighttime. <laughs> that way, in the case of something does happen, you won't lose your, your nice smartphone. Uh, okay. Pay <laughs> somebody for, you know. <laughs> Um, another thing, too, uh, what I've done in the past, too, with certain hotels that I've stayed at, for example, I was in Rio one time, and uh, the attendant at the desk, he spoke English, so I was able to talk to him a little bit, and I asked him, I said, well, are there any areas that we need to avoid, or, you know, uh, is there any blocks around here, the hotel, maybe perhaps we need to be more cautious, be more careful. They'll kind of give you some information, they'll kind of, you know, let you know, hey, <laughs> two, three blocks Heading north, you might want to be careful. Instead of going north after 9 o'clock, you might want to take the street on the east side and come back around or something like that. So that's uh, definitely helpful. Um, always stay in lit lit areas if possible, especially at uh, in nighttime too. And if all possible, try to always go out with someone and um, definitely uh, not by yourself. Okay. Okay, very nice. So that helps us out there when it comes to crime. Um, the next subject, I think we'll get a big kick out of this. I can say from personal experience, when I have visited back to the United States, uh, several people have asked me about Brazil and they, when it comes to the subject of animals. 
Well, the question they were asking is, there in Brazil, do you see monkeys? Do you see snakes in the street? And you know, I get a laugh from most people, um, whether they're foreigners or Brazilians themselves, when I tell them that those are questions that are asked. And so we're here to tell people uh, all of Brazil is not the Amazon. It is a large part of Brazil. Um, but actually, like the city I live in, again, has nearly a million people. Um, so it's a very well-developed area, a lot of really, – it's really a concrete jungle. So for, for the most part, we don't see wild animals uh, here, you know. It is kind of interesting that most people would think that um, because we're in Brazil, you're going to see animals. But we're here to tell you in our Q&A that no, in our cities, you won't find wild animals. You might hear birds. I mean, I, I wake up in the morning and can hear some nice birds singing. Um, but for the most part, the wild animal thing, that's more in the interior, more into the Amazon. What about you, Dave? What's your thoughts on animals here in Brazil? <laughs> well, you know, uh, as you just mentioned, you know, when you live in the concrete jungle, of course, you're not going to see these things. But of course, uh, I've had the privilege of being able to uh, go on the outbacks or the outskirts of many major cities uh, in the north and here in the south. And of course, sometimes you will see maybe sometimes a loose cow walking in the middle of the street, um, <laughs> other farm animals and that nature too. But when you're in the concrete jungle, for example, where I am, no, you won't uh, see too much of that. Now, one of the things I will say, you may not see perhaps, uh, you know, chickens or uh, horses or cows or whatever, I mean, maybe perhaps like where I live, you will see sometimes street dogs. Street dogs are something that's very common here. Um, uh, you know, like maybe, for example, in the United States, the animal shelter, you know, they will, after someone has called them, they will come and pretty much pick up any stray dogs. Here, stray dogs are abundant, and sometimes they run in packs, and so from time to time, don't be alarmed. You may see a dog that's walking in the streets. Most of the time, they won't bite, so there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, when I first moved here, I was a little on the nervous side because I was walking one time by myself, and, um, man, <laughs> there were like three dogs coming, huge dogs coming toward my way. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> almost wanted to run, but uh, later on, I had a friend tell me, ah, oh, don't worry, these are street dogs. They don't do anything. They, they're very friendly, so... <laughs> So I have to say, you will see street dogs, but on average, you won't see any of these uh, wild animals, per se, snakes and whatnot. No. Okay, excellent. Well, you know what? That's going to bring our uh, first Brazil Q&A to an end. What we want to do is we want to definitely extend an invitation. Again, please go ahead on and send us in any questions, comments, uh, if there's something you'd like to see us talk about, if you're coming to Brazil anytime soon, relocating, just visiting, we'd be glad to uh, do a QA. and a um, Again, like I mentioned, we've done a video about a posada already, and we have some uh, information out there on our website. And we're going to do more videos talking about this matter of crime, this matter of the hotels and lodging, and things of that nature. So we, we uh, have our email address here, info at golot.me, send us your questions, comments, again, on our social media, post whatever you uh, want to ask there. And also what we're going to do is we're going to look to invite other expats who can uh, join us in our Q&As from time to time, and they can answer. So that way you all see that, hey, we're getting information from real-life people that are here on the ground in Brazil. Dave, any final comments from you? Well, I uh, just wanted to... Uh, once again, I uh, extend a uh, thank you and appreciation to all of our um, audience so far. We're still getting great feedback. We're about a month now since we've started this project, and things are working out very well. We're getting lots of feedback. Uh, and this is very good. And thank you once again for all of those who are supporting us uh, via uh, all the social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Go Plus, I mean Google Plus. Um, and uh, many other uh, social media sites that we have. We really appreciate you guys following us and uh, continue to tell your friends and family. And uh, we look forward to uh, presenting to you more of the videos and 
which will be able to show you more about life in Brazil. All right, very good. Thank you so much for that. And so again, until next time, everyone, please continue to live, learn, and travel with passion. Thank <laughs> you.